Well, hello, friends of Disneyland. I'm out for a little lunch and food shopping before my big day tomorrow. I'm so excited, I just can't even put it into words. Everything in my life will change tomorrow. What a glorious day it will be. May all of your days be as glorious as the lady in pink, like me, and have the time of the Stephanie Renee, the lady in pink. What the f***, Buffalo Bill? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that old-timer we just heard from in the first clip who is excited about his big day at Disneyland tomorrow? Isn't he the same fellow we've seen here on the channel a few times dressed up like Pippi Longstocking? Someone might want to keep an eye on him. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a fairly quick and very crazy Clown World update for you guys today, and as usual, we have, well, very little time to waste, so... Let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, what the hell is this? Oh, no. Listen, I apologize. My French Bulldog Goose, our mascot here, has uh, been messing around with the computer. I don't even know how he gets up here and does this. He doesn't have opposable thumbs. Goose, I told you, you've got to stop doing this. You're going to get me in trouble. It's not funny. Hang on one second, guys. Let me fix this. I do apologize. All right, we're back in business. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, so this is Brandy. Now, Brandy is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman and calls himself a transbian or trans lesbian. Now, like most of the other transbians we see here on the channel, Brandy will only date cis lesbians and only use ladies' restrooms. Huh? Because you're an abomination. An outrage against nature! All right, let's keep it moving with everybody's favorite paid establishment shill, the young lad Harry. Now, besides all the gaslighting we're about to hear in this clip, Harry also claims that he's straight. I don't know if I'm buying it. Roll it. It's always crazy to me when I see, like, straight white guys between the ages of 18 and 29, like myself, supporting Donald Trump because, like, do you guys not realize how bad a Trump victory would be for you? Does that not click? Like, if you have a woman in your life, a girlfriend, a mother, a sister, Donald Trump is running on taking their reproductive rights away. Republicans in the Senate just voted against a bill that would protect their access to contraception the other day. What? Or maybe you work in a factory and you think that Donald Trump's gonna protect your job. Sorry, no. Donald Trump outsourced more jobs than Obama, and right now there's a manufacturing boom because of President Biden. Don't believe me? Look it up for yourself. Or maybe you're just like, yeah, I hate the inflation and the gas prices, so I like Trump. Well, I hate to break it to you because contrary to what Donald Trump tells you, Joe Biden is not responsible for the inflation or the high gas prices. That happened all around the world as a result of the pandemic. And actually, right now, we're drilling more oil than ever before, and inflation has fallen rapidly. And many economists are saying that Donald Trump's policies are far more inflationary and could make the situation worse. Point is, there's nothing manly or cool about voting for Donald Trump. What's actually honorable is standing up for people whose voices may not be as loud as yours. Food for thought. What the hell did you just say? It's always crazy to me when I see, like, straight white guys between the ages of 18 and 29, like myself. I thought you were gay. So I thought this next clip was a parody skit. When I first saw it, I thought to myself, there is absolutely no way this is real. But I assure you, it's 100% real, and just to prove it, I'm going to attach a news story at the end. So this clip's about five minutes long. I'm only going to play the first 45 seconds of it, where this drag queen named Maybe a Girl is going to tell us how no U-turn signs in Silver Lake are homophobic. And then we'll see the news clip. Roll it. No U-turn signs are homophobic in Silver Lake. And here's why. Hey everybody, it's Maybe. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I posted a video on TikTok and on Instagram that was detailing the removal of the last no U-turn signs associated with the no cruising ordinance here in Los Angeles and claimed it as an anti-LGBTQIA issue. Uh, and folks were asking, how can a no U-turn sign be homophobic? How is that anti-LGBTQIA? Of course, the homophobes, the transphobes came out en masse and we're saying, yo, this is just a no U-turn sign. Now making a U-turn is homophobic. 
Well, I'm here to give you a little history lesson about why the no U-turn signs in Silver Lake actually are homophobic. A few moments later. L.A. City Council members Hugo Soto Martinez and Nithya Raman were on hand today to help remove the signs. They say the no cruising and no U-turn signs were put up in the 1990s to prevent people in the gay community from meeting up with other gay people. I was also surprised that these um, <clears throat> these U-turn signs were still uh, up. And at first, you know, they seem a little... Um, oh, okay, it's just a no U-turn sign. But when you learn the history of it and you realize that these were used to profile gay people, it's so important that we have these removed. The L.A. City Council members say the signs were put up after the gay community began to grow and because there was a gay bar in that area. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Christ. Now, maybe, just maybe, the no U-turn signs were there, so... People wouldn't do U-turns and interrupt the flow of traffic? Just saying. Anyway, next up. So here we have a skit put on by Al Weezy and this young fella in the Nike shorts. Now, I don't know if they're playing a prank on the Home Depot employee or what. I don't know if he's in on it, but judging by the look on his face, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. Roll it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's beautiful. Really? The most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. Come on, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. Come on. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. All right, next up we have this pink-haired individual who wants to know what the first word is that comes to your mind when you see that. Rolling. What is the first word that comes to your mind when you look at me? I might regret this. The first word. When I say the first word, I mean the first word. Okay? Insanity. All right, next up we have this lovely young lady who says that if a white person makes a dancing video using a black person's song, they're somehow using black people. Roll it. When a white person make dancing videos, any type of videos, they can do anything to a black person's song, they're going to go viral because they're white doing something to somebody's shit that is black. Now let that same white motherfucker go and do something to a white country ass motherfucking song, the same little twisty roll pop or whatever the f she doing. She not gonna get that many views, bro. So y'all are using black people once again. What the hell is wrong with you people? Hey, where are the white women at? Hey, real quick. Real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. But before I do that, I want to give a big shout out to Christmas W who left a super thanks on the last video. Now, Christmas W has been subscribed to this channel and watching these videos since just about the very beginning. And he's always showing nothing but love and support in the comment section. So, Christmas W, once again, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. Now, today's video sponsor is the Etsy store Red Clover Fields. Now, many of you know that is my wife's Etsy store, and she's got some fantastic stuff on her website, stuff I use every day, and I swear by it, but hey, don't take my word for it. Go check out some of the reviews. So if you're looking to get away from Big Pharma and looking for some more natural remedies, definitely go peruse her store. I will put a link to that in the description box below. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. I don't even know. Get this off the screen, please. Oof. You look ridiculous. Now, I would be willing to bet that this young lady in the next clip here is probably single and is probably going to stay single for a very long time because she freely admits she hates men. Roll it. 
women don't owe you pretty and they don't owe you nice. And I think that that's why men get so confused when we say all men, because we live under a system that perpetuates these same harmful ideas and men who do not stand up against that, do not deconstruct it and do not actively fight against it are continuing to perpetuate the problem. That is why you have to be anti-racist in order to not be racist in the same way men need to be like anti-patriarchy to be on the side and allied with women. I do hate men. There, I said it. You can call me a misandrist. That doesn't hurt my feelings. That doesn't make me feel inferior. I simply do not believe that we can inherently inflict more violence on men than they already are through patriarchy. What did you say? That is why you have to be anti-racist in order to not be racist. Oh, don't give me that liberal bullshit. All right, guys, just a quick one today. So we're going to be wrapping it up with this clip of Nancy Pelosi talking to, I believe it's Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC about how the Republican Party has become a cult to a thug, the thug being obviously Donald Trump. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Really. So if we're going to do psychoanalysis of them, I think we have to have them in person in front of some healthcare professionals. But I do wish there would be uh, an intervention from his family, assuming they love him beyond the resources, assuming that they love him, that they would intervene, that the Republican Party would have an intervention. They have become a cult to a thug. And that is really a tragedy for the grand old party and what they were. What did you say? What the f did you just say? They have become a cult to a thug. Meanwhile. So again, thank you, George Floyd. So again, thank you, George Floyd. They have become a cult to a thug. You, uh, you've been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on grandpa's old cough medicine? And you ain't black.